So uh, Katie and I uh, picked out this pattern together uh, and uh, I made it. The first one did not look great, uh, but uh, with, through some, uh, some nice design work, we were able to, get, to make it better. So first of all, this pen is acrylic and it has pink inlays of other kind of acrylic in there to give it a kind of a really three-dimensional effect. Uh, it's really, really striking in person uh, and it's beautiful, it has a nice heft to it. Uh, on it, it also has, there we go, maybe if I adjust this a little bit less or more, here I, we go. I have your pictures here as well that we're throwing up. So, okay. So we can get the concepts. Uh, it has Savarsky crystals, mm -hmm. uh, both uh, for the, the, the pink ribbon uh, along the, the belt here, and then a big one on the top. Uh, it's a pretty hefty pen. It's a nice little twist pen uh, that really, uh, here you can see it goes up and down. There you go. Uh, so this one is up for auction or, uh, or for uh, auction right now. Uh, a pen like this would typically go for about $120. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to put a bid on it, you can go over to eBay and uh, do that right now. This will be the, this is the first one that's up there now. Uh, when this one goes, uh, there's a couple others. And should I show them now, Mike? Or yeah, do you, go for do it. Give a little preview. All right. Uh, number two. It's another pink one. This one is made from pink marble that I turned. It's a reconstituted stone. Uh, it's actually stone. Like it, it's it, it, it's cold like stone and it warms up in your hand. It has a nice heft to it. You can see the nice little veining in there. Um, it was really, really, really hard to make. Uh, uh, it really is, is very striking in person as well. Uh, it's one of the heaviest pens I've ever made. If you can imagine writing with marble, uh, this will definitely go noticed, be noticed by anyone that, that happens to see it. Uh, so uh, this will be done up for uh, auction whenever the, fir the first one is done. And then the last one is actually my favorite, and I actually call it the Dutters uh, because, <laughs> the, like I said before, uh, like, like Katie is very unique in her style. Uh, she wears her her wild sensibilities like a badge of honor. So uh, what I did is I took a bunch of the different pieces I had uh, that, of woods that do not normally go together, patterns that do not go together, pieces of pens that normally do not go together, and somehow, much like Dutters, made it all work. So with that, behold the <laughs> Dutters. So you can, this pen is actually made from eight different pieces of wood. Jeez. We have uh, stripes here, stripes here. Uh, we have solid wood here, which, which is a beautiful oak. Uh, more stripes here in the middle. You can see that. Uh, another band of stripes down here, which is actually three different pieces of wood together. And a little tiny bit right here at the end. A little bit of a rum barrel uh, taken from a barrel from uh, our friends at, at Maggie's Farm. So it's a little bit of everything. But here's my favorite feature. And, and this is something that, that, uh, that <laughs> at first I thought, is this too corny or is this good? But if you can see in the middle, uh, let me get it right there. There are two belts right in the middle instead of the normal one belt that you might see on a pen. And for me, that is the that is a, a wrestling champion holding two belts at the same time. <laughs> so uh, this pen is really <laughs> unique and priceless, uh, one of a kind uh, that uh, probably no one would ever make again or want to make again, except for this one particular occasion. So this will be the piece de resistance over top. All the stuff uh, made right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, it can be shipped out to you uh, whenever you're done. Uh, so this is what I've been working on for for, for gutters, and uh, I hope people like it as much as I do because uh, I really enjoyed making them. And I, whoever gets these pens, it is just you know any one of these uh, it is something that that uh, it will be a great reminder uh, for again. There we go, ribbons out for overcoming adversity, uh, for supporting your friends, for having fun, and for never giving up hope. 
So uh, that is my contribution to Katie's recovery. And I, I hope uh, someone goes out there and bids a lot of money for it. <laughs> Fantastic. Those look amazing. Those look amazing.